Mario goes his blood. Ah! He had lots of guts. <laughs> Oh. Hey guys, this is Jeroen, better known as Dutch Bond Fan, and I'm once again rejoined by my wonderful girlfriend, Lirit. Hi! Today we are watching 1969's On Her Majesty's Secret Service. Once again, uh, Lirit's first time watching this. Yes. And this is a big one because a lot of people have been waiting for you to watch this one. Some okay. fans see it as the black sheep in the franchise, but most fans see this as the unique and one of the best ones in, in their opinion. Okay. Um, so, to reach their own, I guess. But we did a lot of preparation to this, didn't we? Because yes. we actually watched the George Lazenby documentary <laughs> yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, Becoming James Bond, in which you got to see who George Lazenby is and yes. how he got the role. What did you think of his story of how he became James Bond one time? Well, he... They asked him to be James Bond six times. After yes, that, after right? that, yeah. And but then he, he turned it down. He turned it down. Yeah, he wants to be himself again. I guess so. But yeah. I totally get. But um, yeah, James Bond is something special. And um, I don't know. It just came into his lap. Right. Everything in his life. So. A lot just happened to happen to him, like how he became a male model. Uh, the, the guy just lived each day uh, a day at a time, pretty much, and um, he wasn't even an actor, and yet he, he got the, the most iconic role in film history. Um, quite special. What do you expect from On Your Majesty's Secret Service and George Lazenby? What, what are your expectations? With I don't know. Him? I thought that the Queen was in this movie. The Queen? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah because of Majesties. The, Service on Her Majesty. Yes, on Her Majesty's Secret I, I Service. I think uh, he's in the Secret Service of Her Majesty. And right. To do like an assignment. The title doesn't give anything away, does it? Because <laughs> he's on Her Majesty's Secret Service in every movie, pretty much. Um, yeah, uh, and George Lazenby, what do you expect from him in this movie? Do you think you're gonna notice that he isn't, or do you think he'll pull think off so. the job? I think so, that you're going to notice that he's not Right. Um, my advice is try not to be bothered by it too much that he isn't, and just try to enjoy the story, because most of the supporting actors that are around him are very good actors, and that lift the movie up, I think. Okay. Um, if you are interested in the full-length reaction of Lirit watching On Her Majesty's Secret Service, you can find it on my Patreon page for the premium supporters there, so you can watch the whole thing synchronized uh, with us. But, and this movie is going to marry, right? Because you and some of the supporters already said Yes, this is, this is the one which it happens. Uh, I won't spoil too much anything more than that, so uh, we're going to be watching a totally different Bond movie, you know that, because he never gets married. No, um, he never says I love you. And one more thing. Uh, in the part of the movie says I love you. Yeah. You mean in the code, uh, in the code thing in uh, You Only Live Twice? Yeah. And in No Time to Die. Yes. But we also did more preparation work without you knowing because we recently saw No Time To Die and you'll notice No Time To Die had a lot of references to this movie. Okay. Mainly in the music but also in some other departments that I can't spoil but you, you may notice oh that's why they said that in No Time To Die, oh that's what it was referring to. So it was all going back to this movie. Okay. So, without further ado, we're going to be jumping into On Her Majesty's Secret Service. Yes. It's just 
the normal gun barrel uh, music. No, it's different. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, yeah, on his knee. Yeah. Yeah. You remember from the documentary? Yes. He, he just did it his way. Obsolete. And now, computer analysis. Oh, we just jump in. Yeah. But Pierre wants to be informed personally when we find the blue zip. He's lost? For now, there he is. Driving an Aston Martin. Back in the days in the, in the cinema, I think people are very excited to know who James Bond was. Yeah, because he's, see his he's face. teased, right? They tease it. He's the new one. That music. She left her door open. Oh, in the glove box. What is she doing? Suicide? How did I know that? Because she doesn't get her clothes off. Yeah, and she is like she's wearing a glitter dress. Is this also just like in the other movies that it's like not dark? It's during the day, but they just. I don't know, this, I don't think this is supposed to be at night. It's supposed to be like this, I think. But it is, it is, you're right, it is filmed, like, made darker than it is, than it actually is. She's like, fainted? What? I don't get how she passed out. Yeah. I never, never got that either. Good morning. My name's Bond. James Bond. This is, uh... Don't move, Mr. Bond. This is too quickly for me. You jump in the, in the story and now... I don't know who that is. You're not supposed to know. <laughs> and see... Yeah. He, is, is this him or is this a stuntman? Oh, I think it's a lot of it is really Lazenby because he can really fight. What is she doing? This never happened to the other fella. I think he means Connery. Yeah, but he's supposed so. to be the same guy. But some people say you could mention he means Prince Charming from Cinderella, and you know, oh, holding yes. the shoe. But never Prince Charming had only one shoe. Yeah. But it's... I don't like the line. This They use this in No Time to Die as well, the hourglass and stuff. Okay. In the openings. Oh yeah. Do you notice anything about this song? Mm, no. There's no singer. Oh yeah. There's no singer indeed. And yes, those are all the old previous ones previous that we saw. Yeah, yeah. Only off. the other characters, but not Sean Connery. No. <laughs> That's not the same car as Sean Connery. No, it's a different Aston Martin. The back of that, what do you think of Lazenby? Do you think he has the look? Mm. Yes, same haircut. I don't have any money. Dame can't pay up. My mind was elsewhere. Madame had forgotten we agreed to be partners this evening. He built her out? Yeah. People want to stay alive, play it safe. Please stay alive. At least for tonight. <laughs> There's something happening. She's dead? Tracy? <laughs> Please. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> it's 
something is happening. You're full of surprises, Contessa. So are you, Mr. Bond. She's a bad girl. Do you always arm yourself for a rendezvous? Now, who was he? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> he just hit her. <laughs> I'm sure you can. Whatever else I may be, I'm not a liar. Get dressed. I'm not interested in your opinion of me, Mr. Bond. I'm here for business transaction. Really? Get dressed, he said. Not lay down. <laughs> <laughs> That's strange, the phone didn't ring. <laughs> she took his gun. And she paid him back. Well, where's his gun? Mr. Bond? Yeah? You've lost something, really? We'll give it to you outside. Let's do it. Mm, <laughs> Who are these guys? We, we don't know yet. The drink. Then if you wish, I'll give you another chance. I'm Draco of Draco Construction. But today's the 13th commander. It's my birthday in the movie. Yes. September 13th. She needs a psychiatrist, not me. <laughs> what she needs is a man to dominate her. Huh? To make love to her and not to make her love him. Madam Connection's not open to me. Where is Ernst Stavro Blofeld? That's what he's interested in. Spectre. Mm -hmm. That walk. Did you see that? He walks different than yeah. Connery, right? Just with me. You've had two years to run him down. Does this mean you've lost confidence oh, he gets in me? Another I'm well aware of your challenge. So under the I hear the music. Underneath the man. Oh yes. The queen. See the queen is in the movie. Fair enough. Request granted. Oh he lost his job. What? He, he granted the request. Two weeks to leave. <laughs> you didn't really want to resign, did you? Honey, Penny, what can I do without you? The moment I get back. Where are you off to? Oh, just some place to laze about. Beach coming. This is the first time I saw them kissing. Madame always makes one feel so welcome. She likes you, I can see it. You must give me the name of your Oculus. <laughs> Where's he gone? <laughs> Especially between friends. Or lovers. Remember this song? The end of No Time to Die? No. They use this song. So the makers of James Bond thought this movie was also the best one then? Well, this is the most emotional one, so they felt like referencing this. Because he felt in love again in No Time to Die, just like here. Mm. He's similar to Madeline in a way, I guess. You never see Bond like this, kind of, right? Fall in love? No. Genuinely. His father-in-law is always a criminal. <laughs> Same with Spectre, Yeah, actually. that's true. <laughs> but this is not a real assignment. No, he's still in his two weeks leave, yeah, I guess. Yeah, so this, is, uh, this whole movie is not a real assignment. Yet. I will be back in an hour. Bon appétit, monsieur. That was him. That was Gumball. I think so, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Nobody. 
nobody sees that in daylight. No. This is a much bigger one yes. too than the one in your, the, the previous movie. He had one that was pocket size. Yes. Come to someday. I don't like the hat. It takes longer than the other movie. <laughs> yeah. For real, you're gonna copy that. Just take it with you. You don't. They don't know if anything's been stolen if you copy it. Second. There he is. I'm enjoying this movie a lot more than I used to already. Actually, it's been well, a while since I saw. I don't know. I always find it boring. Now I'm enjoying it more. I've, I've, I've watched it a dozen times, but still. If I want them, I will throw myself in that also. To escape? Yeah. Yeah. Who do you think lives here? Water deck? Uh, that countess? No. He's back in England. M. M. Butterflies. Hmm? Thomas Bond, Baronet of Peckham, died seventeen. His family motto. On a chevron sable. Three besants. Good motto, eh? The world is not enough. Remember? Yes. His family motto. You recognize the song? Yeah. It's the song we sang, right? Mm -hmm. And the locations in this movie. This is beautiful though, isn't it? You're about to see the location that all Bond fans always see as the top location of all Bond locations to visit. Because it's still there. Specialist in this field. Look. It's called Peace Gloria. Peace Gloria. It's still there. Yeah. Barn it's now a barn vocation, kind of. You can visit it in real life. Mm. I definitely want to go there one day. What are you going to see there? There, there is a lot of barn stuff there. I, I, I know some friends of mine who've visited the place multiple times. Why is he wearing a, how do you call that? For a kilt. kilt. I, I, I think this would suit Sean Connery more, because he is Scottish, you know, if he plays in this movie. ...and offices are of great antiquity. When I tell you that the first Clarenzo King of Arms... He's still talking. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Sir Hillary. Good evening. Now he's eye to eye with Blofeld. Yeah. Do you notice anything different about Blofeld compared to the previous movie? The scar. It's not there. No. <laughs> <coughs> there are no cameras, nothing. No, I guess not. Getting more information. He's in love right, with the other girl. That's what I always notice too. Like he's supposed to be kind of in love now. You know, field operatives must often do right. everything at their disposal to get to their right. objective. But now he does find out stuff. Like this. How you hated chicken. How you were sick when you even saw it. Maybe you should go here for uh, your mushroom allergy. No. I have taught you to love mushrooms. Know your name? I tell you all about myself later. In the morning. 
So he's kind of just sleeping with all of them. That's disgusting. <laughs> Your stiffness of last night, it is all gone. <laughs> For the time being, I think. Then come and <laughs> Won't that be fun? Troubling us again. What about all my clubber? My belongings, please. Well, they will be sent down later. But they're mine, damn it! We have certain rules which must be observed. You can't just claim a mountain. Hilly. Hilly's so She's sad. dead. The roof is leaving. <laughs> That old cow told you. Fancy meeting you here for all It's own fault. Bye. They found out who he is. Merry Christmas, 007. <laughs> I'm Sir Hillary Bray. <laughs> no, 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 Mr. Bond. How about you, vaccine? This is like the real world right now. Has been the confection of a certain. Vitus Omega. Mm -hmm. I find it very relevant now. Mm -hmm. sample the virus a crazy America. guy in the Swiss Alps Epidemic spreading a virus. Because I remember when I reviewed this back in 2017, I was like, a virus? I find that so unrealistic. And now that we're living in a pandemic, I'm like, well, this, this plot all of a sudden became very interesting. Because as a, I used to find it very boring. It's so weird, his voice. That I mean what I say. He didn't do a good job with the... the sound. With the sound. <laughs> what is he doing? I think he's trying to escape. For the holy night celebration. What is she doing with them? Going to kill them? They're part of Blofeld's plan to spread the virus. They live in all corners mm -hmm. of the world, right? Yeah. Hey, where is he going? He's going all the way down? Oh, he's going up there. Oh boy. Why didn't he just wait there? Yeah. There was a lot of pointless stuff there. <laughs> actually. He's going to ski or what? Yeah. So finally some action. It's <laughs> yeah, long awaited in this movie. It's what? I got... The Englander is Has escaped. Has escaped? Yeah. Oh, okay. And Blofeld is going himself. Yeah, that's also strange. Yeah. This is all fake or what? Wow, you can ski with a gun? Yeah. Oh boy. He lost one of his skis, you see? Yeah. Wow. Look at this, this is this they did this for real as well. A talented oh, skier. Ski. Yeah. Impressive? <laughs> they keep bumping into the trees. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> wow. Yeah. He doesn't look like him. Like who? It's his name, Laser B. Ooh. But it is. That's not possible. What? 
that he can click into the skis of that man. It isn't? No, because the ski is like uh, set to your foot or your yeah. shoe. Guess they had the same shoe size. How did they know it was him? Now quickly to fit in with the crowd. Yeah, of course. Blue wine, of course. Yeah. Can, can't miss that there. Or here's the song again. Friendship and kindness. And yeah. If he had a head, then they didn't recognize him. Right. Even though they use a happy song, he's kind of giving up. It's kind of helpless now, like... A monster of they need love. James. She knew where he was? Yeah. This time she rescues him. Looking for you? I suspect they're trying to kill me. She's like, what? <laughs> Oh, they noticed him? Or of someone saying thank you. <laughs> and now she's going to get killed. Just as he was going to contact London. Nope, she got away. Good girl. He's proud of her. Yeah, but they cheated on her. That was part of the mission. No. no. They're on the track race? Yeah. How do we get out? James! How do we get out? But they're not technically in a relationship. They're just. No, you can't life. make it right for that. She is a capable driver, though. Now they're dead. If you say so. Ah, too bad. They're still alive. What? Something German. You can't drive in a snowstorm. Pull in there. How did he know this house? He doesn't. He just found a barn. We just have to go on the way we are. Hmm. He does want to quit being an agent, so he can start committing to her. I love you. I know I'll never find another girl like you. Will you marry me? Doesn't go on one knee. I wonder how much they're asking she for this She didn't even say yes. <laughs> I wonder how much they're asking for this Wow, look at this. So now they're not just Bond girl and Bond, they're an engaged couple. Mm-hmm. Oh, there goes his blood. Oh. He had lots of guts. <laughs> oh. Lawina. Gefag, yeah, avalanche. Look at this. But I'd rather face an avalanche than a tsunami, I think. What would you rather have? Uh, I think a tsunami. Really? The yes, tsunami can take all the houses in as well. I know, but in a tsunami you are dead. Dead, dead. In this, you can still be alive. You can be buried alive. Yeah. yeah. And you have to push a button and then it will like do like this. Like in the world is enough, you remember when they had like the cushion thing to protect him from that avalanche? We saw that movie. Oh yeah, like that. Official recognition of his title when he 
but all the other girls are in their own country now. Yeah. Very nice to me. I could make you my countess. But I'm already a countess. <laughs> Whereas if you dissolve Sierra, leading Red Cross helicopter flight, carrying Red Cross medical supplies to Italy. She recognizes her father's voice. We have no record of your flight plan. You just, you can't just claim air and land. Mm -hmm. She already know what to do. So bad. Over and out. Did you come alone? <laughs> so, doesn't it seem strange? So, if they destroy the control center, the yeah. girls can't spread the virus. Couldn't Blova just build another control center and control them anyway? That's what I always think. Week. She scratched his head open, did you see? Not did she, she, she did, could grab the stone and just hit him. Oh, oh they blow it up? Yeah. Playing dynamite out of me. Whoa, flamethrower, I forgot about that. Completely forgot that that was in here. He looks at it like, what the hell is this stuff? Oh, there are all the girls. Right. I will not go without you! You'll have to! Smell your ass and spoil the child, huh? <laughs> Luckily, in real life, they didn't blow it up. Oh, okay, yeah. There's the bottom sleigh. Yeah. Too late. Well, why don't you miss? This is cool. Yeah. This is fake. The, the back projections are quite fake, but at least the shots are quite cool when you do see them bobsleigh. Like yeah. grenade, and he already pulled out the thing, right? Yeah, yeah. So let it go. Too late. But it was a grenade. It's like five seconds, right? Oh, there's different timer fuses. Ooh, nobody is like driving the bobsleigh. Is he dead? No, right? He's not dead. Can Blofeld dies? No. Never mind that. Go and get the brandy, huh? How did he know the dog? He didn't. <laughs> And this time it's not like the Asian marriage, it's really Bond getting married. I know that we haven't always exactly Q. seen... Well anyway, mm. don't forget, if there's anything you ever need... Thank you Q, but this time I've got the gadgets. I know how to use them. All right. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It's funny, Penny. Dear about that. Three girls, three boys. <laughs> Please? Mmm, not bad for a start. Now we have all the time in the world. Mm hmm But Bond said in no time to die, right? Yeah. She's going to die or what? Who's she? Mm-hmm. Indubitably. <laughs> First a boy and then a girl. There they are. Blofa. She's dead.
There's no hurry, you see. We have all the time in the world. But they shot like this, not like this. But when they went past, they shot on the front. What did you think of the ending? That's what all sad. the people are curious about. Very sad. Right? She didn't deserve to die. No. It's very sad. People were so curious to hear your reaction to the ending. <laughs> yes. It's different, right, than all the other Bond movies? Yes, it's very different. The whole movie is different. So, that yeah. was on Her Majesty's Secret Service. So sad, the ending. Yeah, what a sad ending. What did you, what did you think of this movie overall? Very different. Yeah, it is. Yeah. This is a very unique one in the, in the franchise. Like I said, some see it as the black sheep, others see it as the special one. You know, yeah. it's, it depends on how you look at it. Were it the same writers? Okay. Yes, okay. Uh, mostly, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, what did you think? Yeah, you see James Bond in a different kind of light. Right. Yeah. Right. Is that is that something good? You think to see his more emotional it's kind side? Kind strange. Is the it? James Bond uh, franchise put him like he's a single man who thinks he can get all the girls and he's in service of her majesty and this is kind of weird I the see movie. your point yeah I, um, I feel similar so we get into the more more of the details of this movie okay. starting of course with Bond's performance this time George Lazenby yes what did you think um, I had to think Giving him two stars or three stars. Right. I gave him three stars. Okay, very decent. Yeah. Why? Um, well, he did a pretty good job without acting uh, career. Right. Um, but sometimes you could see. He, he was quite wooden actor. in some scenes. Yeah. 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 Why he had to let see like expression in his face or in his voice, he didn't do that. It was like... Yeah, a bit monotone sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel he was surprisingly strongest in the emotional scenes, I feel. I, feel, I thought he was pretty good in, um, in those yeah, moments. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. He's quite wooden. Um, I find him the weakest out of the six Bonds. Um, yeah, but the other ones are real actors. Exactly. And, and you, you know, you can't really blame him. And I feel like if he did stay on board, he probably would have grown in the role and would have made it his own more. Because he obviously, he, he played a lot of what Connery was supposed to do, you know. Mm. Um, he didn't really have the time to make it his own. Uh, but he got the most emotional story uh, yeah. to, uh, to, to play in. So, Lazenby gets three stars, yes. and we're going to move on to the Bond girls in this movie, or mainly the Bond girl, I guess. Yeah. What did you think? Um, she was quite a beautiful girl, and she was stubborn. Right. <laughs> a lot of stubbornness, and she was tough. Right, right. So, well, four stars. Four stars for mainly Teresa Di Vincenzo or yeah, Tracy. Yeah, that was the only Bond girl for me. Kind of, yeah. yeah. The, the other ones were just the, the angels of death of Blofeld, the the, the patients. Yeah, but they're, 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 they're just minor Bond characters, girls. right? No, I agree. Tracy is the big one in this. And four stars, I think, is very fair. Um, most people rank her along with Vesper at the top. Like those are the two top okay. ones because those are the only ones Bond really gets feelings mm -hmm. for. Now Madeline Swan as well. Yeah. No time to die. But okay, so you were impressed by her. You liked her as a Bond girl. Yeah. Yeah, I I agree. I think she also grows because in the beginning she's suicidal and. 
you know, she, yeah, there's mystery yeah, around it's her. Very strange. And then in, in the end, she becomes very strong, and mm -hmm. uh, she really grows in the role. Uh, and obviously, she is the one that marries Bond, even though yeah, she doesn't live to, sa to see the day, unfortunately. <laughs> very sad ending. Do you want to talk more about the ending? To, because that's what the viewers want to know. What, that's what did in you the think? story, right? Oh, okay, yeah, of course. We'll go, <laughs> we'll go talk about that in the story. Yeah. Uh, then we move on to the Bond villain. Yeah. Uh, which was, once again, Blofeld. Blofeld he from returned. Spectre. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you saw him in You Only Live Twice. I saw him everywhere and also in a new one, so it's very like... He, there he is again. Yeah, it's very distracting and very confusing for me. Yeah. Because I see him in nowadays and I saw him in like the one of the first movies and then right. like nowadays and yeah. then we're... we're... We're going in order as much as possible, but in the lead up to No Time to Die, we also uh, squeezed some of the Craig movies into this format already just so that Lyrid was fully prepared for No Time to Die which is why she also already saw the modern Blofeld uh, and you saw, well, in the previous one, You Only Live Twice, the one with the scar, with the scar now yes. this time Telly Savalas plays a more realistic Blofeld without the scar what did you think of him? Well, um, I, uh, yeah it was very strange because he didn't have a scar. Right. So maybe they had to put the scar back. No, I can see that. Because for now, yeah, it's just a bad guy. I didn't sound like Spectre, head of Spectre, because he throws don't the see cat him. away. You, yeah, you don't see him with the cat too much either. Um, I do feel, because in the end he was fighting Bond on the bobsleigh, he was yeah. more convincing. Had it been the the tiny midget Donald Pleasance that played, you know, with the scar and Young Lift Wise, I don't think the fighting would have been as convincing had mm -hmm. it been the more cartoony version. Yeah, but he's the number one. Why right. the head of Spectre? Why is he fighting like he shouldn't. agents? That's true. Should he even fight? That's another good like, question. Like, have respect for yourself. You're the head of a uh, multi-million yeah, dollar. Yeah, your minions should take care yes. of it. <laughs> yeah. But still, you gave him four stars, yeah. so there must be something that impressed you with him. I know. I think it's also because of uh, his minions. They did also a pretty good job of acting with that orange. And of course, overall. you had Irma Bund as well. The, oh, yes. Yeah. The, the one that kind of looked like Rosa Clapp 2.0 to me. Another mm -hmm. one of those evil old women. Yeah. Um, so what did you think of her? As she was another villain. She looked um, slightly like um, from Matilda, the uh, headmaster. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Miss, uh, I forgot her name, but I, I know who you mean. Yeah, she's one of those villains. Yeah, one of those evil teachers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and ironically enough, she is the one that kills Bond's wife. Yeah. In the end, with the gun. That's Not true. even Blofeld. Blofeld gets the blame. But he but drove the car. Yeah. Yeah. With a neck brace. Mm -hmm. That's also strange. Yeah. Okay, so four stars for the villains mm -hmm. in this movie. Okay. Um, we move on to the locations. Yeah. yeah. What did you think? I gave the locations five stars. Yes. It's very beautiful. I agree. Even though I don't like snow. <laughs> it's very beautiful to see. Yeah. And uh, with the wedding, it was also very beautiful with all the flowers and stuff. I don't know where it was in Italy. I think the wedding is supposed to be in Portugal as oh, well. Oh, Portugal, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, uh, I agree. The cinematography, how everything looks in this movie, it's very mm -hmm. stunning with the music and, and the skiing. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, Piss Gloria, one of the iconic Bond locations in the the, the clinic in the Oh Alps. yes, you told me, yeah. Yeah, so um, five stars, very yeah. fair. Yeah. Uh, we move on to the story, story of Majesty. Yes. So a lot to delve into here. Yeah. What did you think? I gave it three stars. Three stars, okay, very decent. Yeah. Uh, what did you think of the story? Well, um, it started like, boom, you're in the story. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah, immediately. I didn't know who the bad guys were. 
You just fight two bad guys. Neither did we. I mean, that's and what you're supposed to find out. You saw like M in his office. That was the beginning with Q. That he uh, he didn't know where uh, 007 was. Mm -hmm. And then immediately you saw one in an Aston Martin driving with another girl in front of him, in front of him. And she was walking in the sea. Yeah, committing then, suicide. Yeah, I said, oh, she's going to suicide. And that's it. That's the beginning. No right. story, no nothing. I don't know. Why yeah, are that, you walking that, in the sea? And that slowly, I don't know. And that slowly unfolded then. And, and it, be, it went out to Bond trying to track down Blofeld and also mm -hmm. falling in love. Yes, but in the sea she was knocked out and uh, when she was up in the mountains fighting that guy, um, he could fight her and she was not knocked out. But in the sea he did like this and she was knocked out. So that He didn't even do this, he just grabbed her and she was like... Oh. That was like quite yeah, strange for I, me. I agree, that's a weird moment. Uh, but we gotta talk of course about where it all leads up to the ending uh she <laughs> eventually she dies what did you mm -hmm. think of this this ending um well i already knew in my head like there has to be something because in the other movies it's just like the same yeah and there are other movies if i was like in 19 what 1969 yeah um then i was like oh my god She's going to die, or is this the end of James Bond? <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. She, but, but now I know there are much more movies, so I know there's going to be something with her. Yeah. She's going to die. I already said she's going to die. Yeah, so it wasn't necessarily unexpected for mm -hmm. you, but you thought it was a sad ending, like you just said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, but I didn't know how she's going right. to she, A bullet right in the head. Um, yeah. For me, a very sad moment. I, I feel mm -hmm. um, you weren't a fan of Bond sleeping around in the clinic. No. That part of the story, no. <laughs> I I yeah. agree. It's the that this is to me, you know. I could argue like, well, it's for the greater good to find out more about Blofeld and the hypno the hypnosis, and you know, sometimes Bond needs to. He can't say, well, I'm an agent, but I can't use all of my skill set now because I'm in love you would think morally you would be like that but bond is like i need to do my job this is my job so i could argue for that however i could also argue for he is kind of committed now and it does feel stranger that he sleeps with all the women in each room now it was two yeah but he was planning to sleep with all with the yeah. other ones as well and um so yeah i kind of agree with you there i can feel where you're coming from and um Obviously, uh, Lirit is very against <laughs> cheating, so um, which is, I guess, a very good moral compass to have. But uh, yeah, it's another aspect of this uh, <laughs> this story. Do you have any more comments on that yourself? No. You're not a fan of the, like the cheating it. aspect. No, no. Okay. Uh, so three stars. You did yeah. enjoy some of the story, at least. Oh, um, and it was very sad to see Money Penny at the wedding. Yeah. She cried, but she didn't cry for happiness on a wedding. What did you think she cried for? Um, well, I think she has like uh, feelings for James Bond because it was not the crying for happiness. Yeah. She told the guy, uh, Q, I think. But I saw in her eyes, it's like woman, women stuff. Yeah. You see, see the cry of happiness or it's the cry of sadness. She was more sad that mm -hmm. Bond was now taken. Yeah. Yeah, I guess she isn't uh, too unhappy about uh, hearing uh, what happened to Bond's bride then. We move on to the final aspect of uh, this movie, which is the enjoyment. Yes. How much did you enjoy Majesty's? Three stars. Three stars, very yeah. fair again. Can you talk about uh, your enjoyment? Well, sometimes in through the movie I was like, where's the action? Yeah. <laughs> No, I agree. <laughs> this this movie, you're right. That's that was my critique as well in my okay. review. It builds up, builds up, builds up, and there's a lot of talking in the clinic. Mm -hmm. and then, yeah. which I've, you know, all of a sudden his voice is dubbed. 
you know, it's not yeah. Blazing Beast voice. And then it finally picks up and you get all the action at once with the yeah. skiing and, and, and the car chase. I think I, if I was in the uh, cinema watching the movie in 1969, I was I, I think I fell asleep. <laughs> you would? I would Maybe yeah. they would find this very action-packed, I mean, you know. I think at the ending I would cry. No, she's dead, but... Yeah. yeah, it's a different kind of story. It, it must have been very unexpected if you hadn't read the book because there was the book obviously was released. But if you didn't know about the ending, mm -hmm. it must have been very unexpected uh, back then. And you kind of saw it coming because you know there are so much more movies yes. coming after this. Yeah. But like you said, if you didn't know that, yeah. When oh. he um, resigned, you said when he uh, he came back to his own office. That was the first time I saw his office. Yeah, yeah. You that don't really see Bond's office. I think you're right. I think that must be the only time you kind of see Bond's office. Yeah, it is mentioned in the books as well. Um, very good point. Yeah. He has also two different phones. Yeah. M. Yeah, you yeah, know, different you, colors. You think I have the observant eye, but meet my girlfriend. She has one too. So and also, oh. when he uh, took out of his drawer, you said the songs, mm -hmm. and he took like things. Yeah, all the memories from the yes. previous missions. Yeah, that was quite beautiful. To I see. think yeah, yes. that shows that he's still the same character, mm -hmm. yet. In You Only Live Twice, he already met Blofeld and now he meets yeah. him for the first time yes, again. So there is a plot. Yes, that was very weird. He's it's a small little thing, I can take that. Um, <laughs> that brings your total score mm -hmm. of On Her Majesty's Secret Service to three and a half stars, yes. which would translate to a seven. Okay. You think that's fair for your assessment of this movie? Of course. Yeah, and you, yeah. you do. It's not the bottom one for you. You ranked a couple a little bit lower, like Fundable. And do you, you indeed enjoy this more than Fundable, I guess? Yes, yeah. So, um, what's his name? Lazenby? George Lazenby did a pretty good job. Yeah, in his well, one, one outing. Yeah. Next time we will return for Diamonds Are Forever, which, um, yeah. A lot of diamonds then. A lot diamonds of diamonds. Diamonds are our girl best friends. Yeah. But do you see the emotion of this movie in the other one? You you mean like is it continued? Yeah, because his wife died. Right. You have to that's, see like a scene, right? That he's like heartbroken. That's what I exactly what I was wishing for with diamonds. <gasps> it's not happening. They they pretended. Well, you have no. to see. You'll have to see in Diamonds no. Are Forever next time if this is continued. But um, no. I wish it was more of a continuation like it is nowadays. But in the old movies, they. No, in the books, it is. In the books, there is a whole revenge plot to Blofeld. In, in Diamonds Are Forever, oh. it kind of takes a different route. So you'll see next time what happens. So, see you later, guys, for Diamonds Are Forever. What if I die? Yeah. Oh, you want me to take revenge then? If you no, could? but... That's sad, right? You're heartbroken then. Yeah. yeah. No, you're just living your life then? Hey, it's not me. I'm not Bond. I'm, I didn't make the movies. <laughs>